Hey guys, it's me, Corey the C, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different that I normally have not done before, and it's going to be an unboxing video on a drawing tablet. It's going to be an unboxing video and a review of the Hueon uh, USB pen tablet. It's the 420 model. I know, chuckle to yourself. Apparently it has 2,048 pressure levels. OSU, don't know what OSU means, but that's pretty cool. I guess that is some of the apps that comes with it. I don't know. I got this thing on Wish not that long ago. And my girlfriend got herself a Huey on tablet on Wish. And it worked quite well. So without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Oh, look, a thank you. Oh, sweet. All right, let's see what the thank you says. Thank you for choosing Huey on. Our goal is... For you to be 100% happy with your new Hueon product, if you need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. We should be glad to help you in every way possible. Cool! And don't worry, this is not sponsored at all. I went out and bought this myself. I didn't get it sent to me for free, so don't worry about that. We got a pin, and the thing that I know about the pins are that with my girlfriend's one, it does take a battery in order to, for, I mean, order it. For it to work so if I remember right it's just like hers all right so you put a triple-a battery in there and bada bing bada boom you're good to go that's pretty cool all right and uh, here's a tablet itself hmm not bad I mean it's really small and it's actually smaller than the Intuos which I've used previously so I'll put that to the side and actually Aren't there buttons? I guess there are two different types. There's one with buttons and one without, and I guess I got the one without. That's my guess. Right, let's put that over there. Let's open it back up. Let's get in there real quick. Throw that, because I don't care. So we got extra nubs and a nub remover. Fantastic. We're definitely going to need that later on. We got a USB. A, what was it? Is this in a micro? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think, no, it's a mini USB. That's a mini USB head. Kind of like how you plug in your PlayStation 3 controllers and also what you plug into your Yeti mics. So that's pretty cool. Put that to the side. And also, we get a disc. What? Wait, wait a minute. That's not a disc. That's paper. That's freaking paper. Give me just one second. So, piece of paper that says download driver manual. And all in different languages. That's cool. So they expect people from all around the world to use Hueon. Which Hueon is pretty cool. I've used a Hueon before. And let's see. Here are the instructions. Graphic tablet user manual. Whoa. All right, there there are a lot there are a lot of instructions to this thing. I thought it was just gonna be a plug and play, but no, there's all right. So I did know that I was gonna need a triple A battery, so I went out and got one. I went to put that pin. All right, so let's put it in here. There we go. And bada bing, bada boom, now we're in business. Now, me personally, I never liked whenever a tablet, a drawing tablet, the pen has to have a battery. That's a personal thing of mine. Also, because I've always used Wacom, and Wacom does not have it so that you need a battery. But I was talking to my girlfriend, and she said that the batteries last a long time. So I don't know how long a long time is. We'll see. But now I'm going to get everything hooked up and downloaded, and then we're going to start drawing. So I will see you guys whenever I start doing the drawing section. See you later. All right, guys. Now I'm back. So instantly I realized that I don't have basically any of my shortcuts that I'm used to. Except I can grab color by pressing this button up top. This button right here. I am guessing is my eraser tool. Okay. 
Okay. So I can switch to my racer tool. That's pretty nifty. Let's control Z that. And now also you got to remember that this right here is what I'm drawing on. This right here. I am looking I'm having to look at the screen and draw away from the screen. So that's a lot different than what I'm used to. But that's fine. I know some sh keyboard shortcuts to help me out. And also, I'm wanting to go like this and reset myself, but I'm all the way down here. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. Okay. Was not expecting that. Whenever they were talking about pin pressures, they were not lying. Wow. All right. How's about we use my pen tool. Okay. I can still get some clean lines off that. That is awesome. So right out of the gate, I mean, whenever I started doing digital art, the first thing that I had to do was work on a bamboo create. And honestly, it took a lot to get used to. And Feathering was very, very important. But honestly, it's not doing that bad. I wish I had a little bit more space on it, to be honest. But for the price point of like 29 bucks that I paid for this thing, this is not that bad of a little drawing tablet. Gets the job done. And yeah, I'm not going to be as accurate or as fast as I normally am. Because I'm actually getting out of my comfort zone. But all in all, this is not that bad of a drawing tablet. And the cool part is, is that whenever it said that it did have all those uh, purchase sensors, it's not lying. It's doing a great job whenever it comes to all my pin pressure and stuff and also there's not much lag not much lag at all I mean of course for me it feels awkward right now because I've been spoiled let's switch over to my there we go switch over to my eraser and that's my brush that's my pen there's my pencil so yeah I will still have to have my keyboard for all of my uh, different strokes for different folks things like all my shortcuts I have programmed or pre-programmed onto my drawing tablet and the surface of this is a little rough to be brutally honest. So, I mean, yeah, if it's too smooth, it feels awkward. If it's too rough, it feels awkward. And it's a little rough, to be honest. But it <clears throat> gets the job done. I'm way more messy than normal. All right. I'm not trying to do a quote unquote masterpiece. <laughs> My nose is way too big. I can. I keep on forgetting that I have that little racer tool just like nailed in perfectly. Ow! Hit my elbow. Now the question would be would I use this instead of my Cintiq tablet that I spent 800 almost $900 on? Probably not. 
Probably not. But, if this was the only drawing tablet I had, it would work. It could work perfectly. Hmm. Let's change that. And I noticed that it's a little wobbly. You guys hear that? Yeah. It's a little bit wobbly. But still works perfectly fine. Alright, so I did that. Alright, time for the hardest part of this whole entire thing. It's going to be inking time. In inking, this is where either A, I'm going to like this thing, or B, I'm going to absolutely hate it. So, we will see what happens. First thoughts, what comes to inking? Oh, with the stabilizer tool? That, this is not helpful. And because it's such a small surface, it is not helping me whatsoever. Which something like this. And let's let's see those lines. Because keep in mind, I have my stabilizer tool on, and that was from very far away. All right, so let's see it up close. All right. All right. All right. Overshot. Yeesh. All right, so, <laughs> oof, these lines, oh man. Give me just one second. Yes, yes. Post. All right. Oh, 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 oh. What? Okay. Okay, my pin, I turned it off and then it just didn't want to turn back on for a second. That was weird. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I stopped way before that. This is fine. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. I just have to shape it. It's fine. There we go. Kudos to anyone who is using an Intuos and or a non-screen graphic drawing tablet. Got it. Close enough. Because, gosh, freaking dang, this is difficult. So basically, you don't want to have a stabilizer tool on whenever doing this. Okay. 
Let's turn my stabilizer to 50. Maybe that will help me. Okay, that helped me tremendously, actually. Okay, now, now we're getting somewhere. Thank God for a cursor to show me where I'm at. Oh, oh, okay, so that was my pro my art program and not the pen. Cool. Okay, so having my All right. Now we're getting somewhere, people. So all I needed to do was to Oh, okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to get most of the inking done. This is why we have different settings for stabilizers. You got to be smarter than the computer. There we go. Oh man, this is this is wicked different than normal. Ugh. I am so used to having it so that I could see, like, I can look straight down and put my pin right where I want it. Alright, so I'm going too slow, I'm going too fast. There's a perfect balance that I need to find. Okay. And if you're looking at my hand, I'm making very minuscule movements. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right here. Because, who, buddy, this is a different tablet. So, let's get back to the other screen. So, my basic idea of this tablet right here. Do I think it's worth the 20, I think it was like 19.99, I think it was I paid for this. And then shipping made it like 25. Would it be worth $25? Yes. 100% yes. If I if I could whenever I was starting out and I could have gotten this tablet, I would have gotten it. I mean, yes, there are little issues that I have, little quips, but you got to remember that I'm used to drawing on a huge tablet, a 13-inch tablet, like big. This one is very small. It still works properly. It, if you are drawing and doing inking if you have your stabilizer at 50 instead of 100 it works great um i did notice some skipping issues very very small skipping issues it was only like two or three times while i was drawing but other than that how small it is how portable it is and that i could probably pair this with my laptop and be perfectly fine even if my laptop was a junker laptop and also, I absolutely love having a micro or mini, I can't remember what it's called, whatever one goes at, whenever, whatever one goes with the PlayStation 3, having one of those cords plugged in instead of a 32 pin whack em. I'm I'm very salty about that. I never like 32 pin power supplies. But all in all, this tablet works and it gets my seal of approval. Whenever it comes to doing any illustration and everything, doing quick rough sketches with it, great. I after I was getting acclimated to it, it didn't take that long to get it going. And the pen itself still fits comfortable. I mean, comfortably in my hand. I had no issues whenever it came to having to hit the buttons or anything like that. And all in all. I like the tablet. I do. I mean, would I use it instead of my Wacom 13 HD Cintiq? No. 
but if I ever needed a backup tablet, would I need this or would I use it? Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. So thank you all for watching. And actually, to I mean to commemorate my milestone of getting over 2,000 watchers on Instagram, I'm actually going to be giving away this tablet right here to one of my followers. So I'll put stuff in the bio, everything like that, so that you guys can understand what's going on. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day.